guys, this is Haley from WonderlandRabbits.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean with three house bunnies. First I'm going to be showing you how I deep clean. I'd say that I'd probably do a deep clean about every week or every week and a half. So basically what I do is just take everything out of the pen. I'm just cleaning a snug -a bun here. Basically, I just take out all of the fleece that is dirty. As for Lulu, her fleece doesn't always get super dirty, so I'm able to reuse it. So, and then I just take all the toys. Again, I would get all the fleece prepared to be washed. I just take up all of Lulu's rugs and a sheet on her ground, and then I go ahead and empty her litter box. And I accidentally made a huge hole in the bag, so I had to double bag it. <laughs> Otherwise, the litter was falling all over the floor. Then I go ahead and take my shop vac and basically shop vac everything. I love my shop vac. You can vacuum any hay or anything and it never gets clogged. So I'm actually just vacuuming one of Lulu's cage liners because it's not dirty enough to have to be washed. So that's another good thing is that sometimes you can just vacuum the fleece. And then here I'm just vacuuming the floor of the pen. Then I go ahead and clean Lulu's litter box. Lately, I've just been spraying it with vinegar and water and then wiping it down with paper towel. I prefer to rinse it out in a sink personally, but I don't have a utility sink in the basement that I'm staying in, so I just go ahead and use vinegar and water spray. Then I'm going ahead and placing the fleece back into the pen. I'm using some towels underneath her litter box because sometimes she has a little bit of accidents just because she's uh, older in age. And then I go ahead and put a fleece on the main part of the pen floor. And then I go ahead and place the rugs back around her pen. And then I'm just adding in her toys, her hidey houses, and all the accessories. And then I take her litter box to go be filled up with litter. And I ran out of Carefresh, so I had to open a new bag and put some Carefresh on top. I put Carefresh on top of my pine pelleted litter because it's softer on a rabbit's hocks. Then I put her veggies in, her water dish, and all the rest of her supplies and then I add some hay and that's basically it. For Sterling and Ebony, they tend to be a bit messier just because they're younger and there is two of them. So basically I do the same thing. I just take everything out of the shelf area and I put the litter box in the garbage and I shake out their fleece so that it's ready to be washed. And then they destroyed one of their little grass mats. So I'm just going ahead and picking up all the little pieces. I'm gonna save the pieces and use it for a new project in the future and then I'm just going ahead and taking everything literally out of the pen. Then I go ahead and put some of the hay scraps into the garbage just so that it's easier to vacuum and then I go ahead and vacuum the shelf area of their pen. Then I empty the hay box as much as possible and vacuum all the little pieces out of it and then refill the hay box with the hay. Then I go ahead and spray the litter box area with vinegar and water just to make it all clean. There's just a lot of hay dust that gets on the ground so I like to clean that up with a little bit of spray. And then I go ahead and clean their litter box. Again, I really wish I had a utility sink because that would make this process a lot faster, but uh, I will be getting one very shortly. So this is probably one of the last few times I'll have to do this. Then I'm going ahead and filling the hay box up the rest of the way with some fresh hay. and placing the litter box and the hay box back in along with some clean fleece. 
And I noticed in this video, I forgot to put a little towel or bedding on top of their Ikea bed. I ended up doing it when I noticed after I stopped filming, but I didn't add that in this video. But then I go ahead and add their Heidi house with some fleece on top. This is their absolute favorite Heidi house. Um, and I'd like to get a better permanent one made out of wood, but that'll have to be in the future. Then I go ahead and just place everything back into their shelf area and I'm cleaning the Snuggabuns with a lint roller because they weren't dirty enough to be washed. And then I work on the floor area. I shake the fleece out because there's a lot of hair and hay on it. And then I go ahead and grab my shop vac. I vacuum their ramp. I don't wash their ramp cover every time because it doesn't really get dirty. It just gets like hay on it. So I just vacuum it and then I vacuum the rest of the floor with the shop vac. Then I go ahead and place a fresh sheet on the floor and I use binder clips to attach it to the puzzle mats just so that the bunnies don't like mess it up or move it during the week. And then for spot cleaning, these are just things that I do throughout the week to make sure that the pens stay clean enough between major cleanouts. So I probably do this every one to three days. It really depends. With Lulu, I tend to do hers every single day. So I just basically take all the hay out of the litter box and mix it up with my hands. It might seem a little gross, but it doesn't bother me. And then I go ahead and take all the little pieces of poop or hay and shake them into the litter box. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace that towel in Lulu's area because it gets kind of dirty, so I'm just putting a fresh one in there. Then I just kind of put everything back where it belongs and add some fresh hay, and that's basically all I do. And then for Sterling and Ebony, same thing. I take the hay off the top of the litter box, and then I go ahead and pick out the wet areas and then mix all the litter up and then put it back in their shelf. They honestly didn't have that much stuff in their pen, surprisingly, they were pretty clean. And then I would just lint rolled some areas that had a ton of fur on it. And then I picked up some scraps of hay and old veggies that were on the ground. And then they also had peed in this corner. I don't know why they peed right next to the litter box instead of inside of it. Uh, so I just went ahead and spot cleaned that. So the next area I clean is right outside my bunny pens. I vacuum this area probably every one to three days. It really depends on how messy or how much hay gets in this area. And I just take the shop vac and vacuum it real fast. It honestly takes like five minutes. And then for their playtime area, I honestly don't clean this area fully a ton. I just clean it honestly when it needs to be cleaned, but someone had peed in the living room, so it definitely needed to be cleaned this week. So I just take everything off the floor, I take the shop vac, and I vacuum the entire basement, just get all the hair, crumbs, poop, hay, anything that is on there, I just go ahead and vacuum that up. Um, it, it's a little bit messier right now because I wasn't spot cleaning as often in the living room, but I do spot clean the living room um, whenever it needs to be. I just don't have video of me doing that. I've also recently started posting on my second YouTube channel again. The name is Haley's Life Through a Lens. Go ahead and click that in the iCards if you wanna check out some of my personal videos. And then after I vacuum, I'm just spot cleaning some spots that they had peed. I don't know why, but they're obsessed with peeing right by the couch. So I'm just going ahead and cleaning that up with some vinegar and water. And then after that, I go ahead and put a brand new sheet on top of the puzzle mats. Then 
Then I go ahead and put all of their toys and hidey houses back into the playtime area. And that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my cleaning routine. Let me know down below if there's anything you wanna see in more detail in the future. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed my videos and I'll see you very soon on a new one. Bye.